Leaving the courthouse after child endangerment charges were dropped, Trefley Coyne, seen here in the middle, struggled to explain what life has been like for her in the past three months. It's hard to be living 97 days under the scrutiny of being called a child abuser when no child was abused. It's been hard to be uh, living under the scrutiny of being called someone who breaks the law when no law was broken. The community service officer was standing right here. In December, Coyne left her two-year-old daughter, Phoebe, alone in the car briefly with the doors locked, the lights flashing, and the alarm activated, and then took her two other kids and a friend to make a donation to a Salvation Army kettle in which she says she was only yards away. I was standing right on the, the loading zone line. It was, um, it was just a very, very short distance and a short time that I was gone. A community service officer with the police department spotted the child alone in the vehicle and began questioning the stay-at-home mom in a way that made her nervous. I froze. I stood right there and I, I felt like I, I couldn't do anything because she said I wasn't going anywhere. Coyne had never been in trouble with the law before, but a short time later she was under arrest. You know, these police officers didn't want to hear it. They were very quick to make their judgment before making, um, doing an investigation. Although Coyne and her husband went to a court expecting trial, the charges were dropped when the local prosecutor's office could not meet its burden of proof. Her husband is also angry. We shouldn't have had to fight this hard, this long. She was never in any danger and I never would put her in any danger. It's a case that has touched a nerve and one her husband says tore his family apart for no reason. Brian Thomas, The Associated Press.